to live a healthy life. Yeah, yeah. Where does she get her information from? Do you, do you watch TV Your with children. her? And you're not wearing a mask at home. All of these things that we find in African Americans increase your susceptibility to getting the virus, especially this more contagious Delta virus. Right now, in hospitals throughout the country, but most certainly in the South, what happens if it's positive? You need to ask those questions. What made you come? Um, I came because I wanted to get vaccinated so me and my family won't have COVID. So, uh, hello everyone. We are coming here to you today live from Southern Regional Hospital. We are working with the, uh, the um, Clayton Get Out the Shots from Clayton State University and Prime Healthcare here at Southern Regional to provide COVID vaccinations. Um, a lot of the people here today are coming to get their booster shot, um, but there will be hopefully some, some first time uh, vaccination folks so we can get that, the vaccinations going here in Clayton County. Currently Clayton County is at about 46% in terms of people who are fully vaccinated and we gotta get that number folks up to 80%. I would love to get to 80% of people who are fully vaccinated in Clayton County. So today we're just doing COVID conversations. That's what we do. And we have this lovely lady here that has agreed to talk to us. So tell, me, tell us your name. Uh, my name is Joy Wilkes. Excellent. And tell me where you live. I live in Jonesboro, Georgia. Okay, excellent. So what brought you out today? Um, I came back to take a booster shot. This is my second time being here uh, for my shots. I did the first set here, and I came back for the booster. Okay. How did you find out about the event? Um, I actually have a relative that works up here that keeps us informed of all the things that are going on, especially those things that are, I, I guess, detrimental to our health. <laughs> so, okay. she, yeah, she keeps us informed. One of the things that we're, um, we're doing here today is not only the first shots, but we are doing boosters. And the majority of people who are coming today are folks who are um, families of the employees. So that's what you are. You're one of the family members of the employee. Exactly. So tell me, what, when you're looking at all the stuff on the news and all the information, good information and bad, what has hit you to be one of the reasons why you don't think we're getting vaccinated? Um, I think... Um from what I hear in my, uh, my uh, small circle is the fact that um, a lot of people have been uh, kind of like disillusioned by past uh, shots and past things that have been geared toward uh, people in my racial group. Right. And of course, Tuskegee is one that comes up quite often. And I think that has a lot to do with it. But um, I'm the type of person, even though you know, I, I don't totally disagree with the news. News is like my secondary. <laughs> okay, what's your primary? What's my your primary? primary is going to CDC, going okay. to the, yeah, <laughs> uh, doing my research in that arena first. Right. And then, uh, you know, stand abreast of what's going on um, through the news, through uh, newspapers and different sources. Okay. Um, I totally don't uh, bank on the social media. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I listen, I look, but I kind of weigh <laughs> things. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So she said a couple of really important things. She said, number one, that her primary source of information is the CDC. So I think that's the first thing. You also said not so much Facebook and Instagram and Twitter is not where she's getting her information from. So she, lo she looks at it, but she's not necessarily banking her health on what's on Facebook. So you gotta be going to trusted resources, trusted people, don't you agree? I agree with that totally. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, totally exactly, agree. exactly. Mm -hmm. So do uh, you have family members that haven't taken the shot yet? Um, well, recently uh, those that were non-believers have turned into believers yeah. because of the fact that I did it and uh -huh. my age group and the fact that I did well, I, I have no complaints, my first shot was uh, my first set of shots was, you know, virtually just great. I have, like I said, I have no complaints. Uh, I had no downtime. I, I recovered. Uh, I mean, I did excellent. Okay. Uh, and so based upon that and, and me, you know, harping on, you need to go take your shot, especially to the family members that, uh, you know, are caregivers for older yes. people in the family. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I think we've made... Uh, my sister's over there, too. I think we've kind of made believers of the non-believers based upon our taking action ourselves and being 
being, I guess, <laughs> being the, uh, the, those that press forward and, and, yeah. and go ahead and, and do it first. So, okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, and so we got to do this, folks. So any like uh, last words you want to tell our audience about what you think about this whole thing? Well, um, I think that um, my decision, my, my uh, research, and everything that I did to lead me up to the decision, to the positive decision to take my shot, uh, shots proved to be a valuable decision uh, because uh, in, my, in my circle, those that I deal with, we've had, um, uh, well, we've had no um, deaths. We had no people that have gone to the hospital and I mean, it's uh, to me, it's it's just something that I decide to do, not just for myself, but for those that I love, those that I come in contact with on a daily basis, because that's that's you know that's my the least sacrifice that I can make for those that I love. Exactly. And so, um, it was a good decision, and I would uh, encourage anybody, you know, that, to do it. I'm I'm over 60 years old. I went out well, and took it. Good, I had, well, you thank you, good. thank you. <laughs> and I had no, I had no problems with it. I came back and took the booster, and hey, I feel like a rock star. <laughs> hey, and you're looking like a rock star, absolutely. All right, well, thank you for today, and I, and you have a great day. It's a beautiful day today.